What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to more Let's Play Spider Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh boy. In the last episode, we unlocked area. Th no. Did we? Yeah, we unlocked area 3. So there's a new recording session, so I'm gonna use this. So almost socked the Patrick there, which would have activated the sequence, which gives us socks, which I really don't want to do. Anyways, we actually gotta go get the remaining uh, sock. Um, in jellyfish fields, I just gotta figure out exactly where that is. I think that's over here. I believe, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. We're, let's hope this actually works out well. If it doesn't, then man, I guess I'll have to do a lot of fast forwarding. I think it's up here, is it not? Whoa, the camera just flipped out there. Uh, let's just fast forward until we get to a box or so. Oh, the box is over there, though, isn't it? Oh, I found it! I found it! Okay, here it is! Okay. You need to leave, sir. You need to leave. Okay, so I have no idea how I'm gonna even show that, because I actually spent the- that was, that was a bit weird. Anyways, hit this switch. We individually have to hit these peakies. Which is just as annoying as it sounds, since there's so many of them. Uh, <coughs> and you gotta watch these mini cutscenes every single time. And it's actually pretty easy to miss because they're moving around and such. But I'll go. Oh, that's a, oh yeah. But there is yeah, there is a bit of a shock wave that the uh, fuse bubble produces, so that helps a lot. And there we go. With that, we have 100%ed the first level of the game. Finally. Woo. Okay. Then we go to downtown bikini bar. Okay. This I don't really need to bother or worry too much about showing. This shouldn't take too long at all. Alright, start off with freaking sponge bubble I could have sworn you could do this without activating all the um, bits and pieces here. At least you could do the extreme bungee jumping. I know you wouldn't be able to do the other one, like open all the doors, but I figured you would at least be oh god. You would at least be able to do the bungee, but I guess not. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Of course I did. Why not? Why not? Okay, yes, I is it this way? I'm not sure. Let's just go this way. I know you need SpongeBob first, because I know you need the cruise bubble. There is a switch this way, I believe, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aha! There we go. Alright. I'm gonna activate that. Is that gonna even help me? Is it gonna be timer? No, there's not. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna be doing this again. I would just cut, but I haven't shown this, this in a while. Let's just do this again. Oh god. No, I say of course it's gonna take forever, isn't it? I hit, I hit nothing. I hit nothing. Oh, I still hit nothing. Are you serious? What do I? Oh, why do I? No, this is. Oh, okay. Well, I finally hit something. Oh, and I. No, oh, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? Uh, really? I'm like hitting stuff that is bouncing me off. At least you can see SpongeBob's butt quack. Yeah. Who does? Oh, there's stone tiki's. That's why. Are those stone tiki's look like stone tiki's. Yeah. There we go. So the real goal is to hit the floaty tiki's underneath, isn't it? Is it that? There we go. Ha ha ha! For once I didn't activate the thunder tiki. Well I did, but I didn't make it explode on me. Oh! Uh-huh. Go on, tell me more about this exquisite tiki. There's ah, oh, see, so there's the groups of three left. Or there's three groups left rather. Uh, come on. Okay, let's fast forward. All right, there we go. The first one's complete. Finally, okay. We could go the long way around, but let's take the shortcut since we did open the door. So there's really no point in just you know wasting the time <coughs> of all the infant children. I don't know why they're infant children for. All right, give me, give me thy bungees. All right, I, I almost actually missed that. That would have sucked a lot. Maybe that was the hardest one I just took on. Could have been. This one doesn't look as bad. 
Okay, there we go. Explosions all the way from down there. What if we can get down there? Like, I mean, the, the Tiki's actually land on the ground, so it's like, it makes you wonder, like, could, if you wanted to, like, could you get down there somehow and, like, I don't know, go explore the city over there? Because, I mean, that, clearly that's a different city than the one we're, we've explored, right? Looks like. Kind of. Maybe not. Uh, there we go. Looks like a less detailed city, at least. Okay. I always let the Tiki's um, finish exploding just in case. There we go. Finish that one. Uh, let's go this way. Do, 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 do. I don't know. This may is this way faster? Probably. It looks like it would have been faster. Alright. Now, activate the bungee. The last bungee, I believe. I thought it was the last bungee. Ultimate oh, well. Uh-huh. Okay that, okay, that first one we did take on seemed to be the hardest one. So, that, that would explain why I went to... I thought that was going to be the easiest. I'm like, oh, wait, this is going to take forever. Seriously, we destroy these tiki's. That should not be a difficult task. Uh, it seems as soon as you destroy the floaty tiki, that's when everything seems to go swell. But I cannot destroy the floaty tiki for the life of me because I freaking keep moving around. Uh, I guess what you're really supposed to do is dive at the last second. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay. There. What? That didn't happen. Did I do it? Are you serious? Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. How come that didn't work the first time? This game's a bunch of particles. Well, whatever, I got it. That's all that matters. Kind of. Not, not really, actually. <laughs> That's kind of enraging, actually. Whatever. Okay, um... I want to switch to Sandy right now. No, let's do it. Why not? And let's hope that switch is still activated. It is! Alright, alrighty. Get on here. And wait for an hour and a half. There we go. Come to mama! <laughs> ah, what? Okay, now don't move! Oh, it's moving, isn't it? It's moving! Stop moving! I think the camera's all weird, but okay. Can we jump? Uh huh. Ah -ha -ha. There we go, now do that, and the last sock, and entrance, oh god, get the purple, there we go, now. <laughs> there we go, and that's the last sock of um, bikini, downtown bikini bottom, and with that we have 100% of bikini bottom, thank the load, okay, now that we've done that, we have 100% of everything so far in the game, and now that we have unlocked all the moves in the game, we don't have to worry about... Um, uh, we don't have to worry about going backtracking two levels ever again. So that's the last time you guys will see jellyfish fields or, um, or, um, on downtown bikini bottom. Okay, with that, you can finally come out here. Actually, I, I was going to show you guys a special teleport technique used to get to this area of downtown bikini bottom by going to the crystal crab. But actually what would have been, been faster is going to the shiny objects at the bottom of the list here. Uh-huh. Um, right, right here, and then teleport to Mr. Krabs by clicking, by taking the taxi to this level, and we'll teleport you right in front of him. Which would have been nice, but oh well, that, that works too. Alright, let's take the smudge bowl all the way over here, and there we go. Let's enter my favorite level of the game. And oh god, that's weird and creepy. His teeth, like, flip up. It's like, what? those look really loose teeth, man. Did you get that checked out? Did you get that checked out? It's so quiet and strange. Okay, my favorite level With of the game. Sleep comes dreams. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Hmm, Gary, I don't what are you know. doing here? Whoa, Gary became a giant! Oh my good lord! Oh, I still can't oh, talk though. So I'm dreaming! Well, then, first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache! <gasps> Ow! Thanks, Gary. I it did it! make me look more rugged, doesn't it? The mustache isn't in sync with SpongeBob's movement, so, which is kind of a fail. <laughs> I don't think that was on wow. purpose. <laughs> more tasks? Well, I could use more I golden spatulas, get... but where should I, I start? I wonder if we'll get to keep this. Keep the level. Wow! Do the Gale Giant? <clears throat> 
And there is, yeah, there's Sandy, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Patrick, you mean all of which have their levels. Has a golden spatula in it? There you go. And you get one for completing all of them as well. <coughs> no, you're never ready. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Aww, even in my dreams, he's worried about me. Okay. Well, let's start off by going back here. And you get up! Well, I thought it was... Oh, hello. Ah, we can't get that yet, though. Like, how do we... I want you! But no, we cannot. Alright. This is really obnoxious and annoying, this part. I'm scared. Spiky spikes. Uh, you gotta really time out your jumps! Oh! Oh! Gotta really time out your jumps. And then there's this asshole that we haven't had a proper introduction with yet. Uh, then again, it does make sense we haven't had a pro um, proper introduction. This is, this is technically the last level in the game, but it doesn't require any golden spatulas to get to it. Like, we didn't have to unlock it. So I always consider the next level, even though the game considers it the last level, but I prefer this level! <sighs> Like, consider this like the first level in the series. And like I said, it is one of my favorites. Okay, you need to stop soon. Right. Ah. Okay. Get over here. Ah, okay. I'm surprised that didn't give me more trouble as it, this normally does. Best way to deal with this guy is actually double pull. And then, well, I guess we need to use bubble. Stop laughing. I mean, he like hits his stuff into there. You get like 150 shiny objects for killing that guy. Oh. This, that's weird. Not, oh yeah, this rolls down by itself. I just thought I had to push it, but no, this rolls down on itself, and you actually have to jump out at the end. It's like a smaller version of the beach ball we saw at the beginning of the game. Yeah, you better jump back up there. What does it disappear? Oh, it just falls off into oblivion. Bye, bye. Oh, good time though. Fun. I better spawn me on top. If it does, I'm gonna be very mad. I'm gonna be very mad. Oh! Alright, okay. Try numero dos. Stop it! You need to stop, sir. And do not. Sh oh, great. Now you're hiding. What a stupid idiot head. Okay, the really huge downside to this is when you do this mission, you have to do the blocks a third time, which I'm surprised I haven't fallen off more than I have. Those, those normally give me quite a lot of trouble. Alright, sweet. <laughs> there we go! Oh, I was like, well, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> that was a freaking floaty burger here. I love burgers. Of course, I would be in SpongeBob G mode if it. We're almost up to 60 spatulas. If this were a freaking Mario game, we would almost be halfway there. We would also be well, well living on a prayer. Okay, so how many? Okay, we have we have quite a lot of um, shiny objects. No reason. Make, make it, make it. Oh yes. Whew. Make that. Make that. Speed running tactics. Speed running tactics. Holy crap! I've never seen this before. What's this? Oh really? I went right through it. This freaking gamer has freaking freakinacity. There's another one up there. Is this just for fun? I'm pretty sure you don't get anything. Whoa, why is this so, like, hidden? Oh, of course. I missed it. I'm trying to hit the Thunder Tiki. Okay, then. I don't really know what that's about. Is there any more? I mean, like I said, there's not really much of a point. It doesn't, well, I was say, it doesn't look like you could jump there. At least from this angle, it looks like you could jump to, like, Patrick's area, but no. We can't. Oh, no! no! Are you serious? Oh. Well, okay then. <laughs> that is whoa! That is a mini slide. As you see, it just goes in a circle. There's nothing on it, so no worries there. And yep, you gotta pay shiny objects in order to get to these levels. Oh, oh no, you don't. Ah, you gotta pay shiny objects to bypass the levels. I see. Yeah, there's a golden special top of Skidward. Skidward's house. Team Skidward's. Who the heck is Skidward? <laughs> yeah. All right, and Sandy's. Tree dome looks like just like a normal does actually. Is there anything up there? Ah, Come on, blue spot. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. I believe. Aha, there's some up here. Nothing special though. Okay, destroyed all the things. Yeah, uh huh. Nope. Right. Okay, 
Uh, does the bubble kill these guys in one hit? It does! I didn't know that. Oh. Well, I was gonna try and get that, but that's before I realized they moved. Now screw that. Well, look how far we are away from SpongeBob House already. Holy crap. Anyways, this is probably a short episode, but these levels do get kind of long, so I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave really like subscribe already. My name's Chris, and I'll talk to you guys later when we tackle Sandy's dream. Peace!